This video is for people who want to have their mind blown twice after watching Tenant. So if you haven't watched Tenant or don't want to have your mind blown, check out my other videos instead. So I actually watched Tenant last month but didn't get to make this video until now because I spent a hell lot of time trying to understand the physics behind time reversal. Although it's again an A- minus for quantum mechanics by barely passing a test, it was still very difficult for me to truly grasp the idea. Especially after I found an article in 2019 that claimed to have reversed time with a quantum computer. But before we delve into the experiment that was a bit tricky, first I want you to guess. Is the white ball hidden in the red one, or the red ball hidden in the white one? Well, with me actually telling you there's honestly no way you could know because I could simply reverse the video and it would look perfectly fine playing in that direction. However, in this case, or in fact in many cases, we can easily tell if a video is reversed. That is because we all have an intuitive sense of the second law of thermodynamics, which has to do with a concept called entropy. In physics, we use a lot of mathematics to describe our physical world. Say, if you're shooting a bullet, we have the equations of projectile motions that can let us know the position and velocity of the bullet at any given time. Although in real world the bullet is always traveling forward, the equations still work perfectly fine no matter we're shooting the bullet or catching it. This suggests that no laws of physics actually prevent time from going backward, except for entropy that can only increase but not decrease in an isolated system. In short, entropy is the measure of disorder or randomness of a system. Firing a bullet or blowing up a plane tends to increase entropy by making things messier. That is why nature always tends to favor actions towards this direction. Consider the number of possibilities we can have for a plane. How many ways do we have to put together a completely intact plane? 1. How many ways do we have to blow a plane into pieces? Infinitely many. That is why unexploding a plane is impossible, because by probability, there is only an infinitely small chance it can go back to its original, unaltered state. Entropy is a really deep subject. It has to do with particle configurations, heat and energy transfer, as well as information theory. But remember, just because something doesn't look more chaotic, it doesn't mean there's no increase in entropy. For if we drop a bullet, entropy has already increased when the gravitational energy turns into heat and causes particles to be more excited and move more randomly. But mind that when I say entropy can only increase for an isolated system, we're only considering the object we're talking about as we ignore everything else and pretend the outside world doesn't exist. So in real life, when we turn on our air conditioner, we can indeed reverse entropy by decreasing the room temperature and making the air particles move less randomly. But this must come at a cost of increasing entropy in the outside world as we transfer heat from the inside to the outside. So next time when we enjoy our air conditioning, remember the outside world is still suffering as it gets more chaotic. In the next video, we're going to talk about the experiment that claims you have reversed time with a quantum computer. So if you're interested, come join me in the next video.